Hi traders, S&P 500 gained another 1.4% last week. The uptrend is expected to continue as long as the market believes in Trump's plan to lower taxes and regulation. And this should last until the end of the year. Failing to deliver results by November or December is currently the only threat to the trend. Until then, we should continue to ride the bull market. Due to Memorial Day, the market will resume on Tuesday. We have a week packed with many financial reports from which Friday's employment report may be a big mover. Let's take a technical view of the market. As we can see, the S&P finally broke out this amazing head and shoulder formation, inverse head and shoulder formation, moved up 1.4% and is probably going to continue because an inverse head and shoulder formation is a very strong one. We discussed that in the past few weeks and it looks like we just moved into this breakout area and again, very, very likely to continue. Let's take a look at last week's picks. Visa just moved very close to my first target, which is always 3% where I sell three quarters of my quantity. Visa just moved up by 2.5%. My second pick was Starbucks Long, which did very well, breakout over $62, but again, very close to my 3% target, not already there. My last pick failed, Excel Short. As you can take a look at uh, Excel, it looks like a very nice downside momentum and it will probably continue, but I never lose more than 3%, so Excel sadly is out. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is MU Long. MU looks great, over $29.87. Very nice uptrend. And again, if the market is going to continue moving higher, there's a very good chance that MU will too with the market. A semiconductor system providers from the US, and it looks like it should continue over these recent highs. My second pick for the week is A long over $60, a very, very nice breakout formation over $60. Again, very nice uptrend, but also a short squeeze. It moved up very strong in the last few weeks, few days in fact, and if, it go, if it's going to move over $60, it is very, very likely for some, sh some short sellers to cover their losses. Therefore, there's a good chance for A to continue over $60. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this video, so let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click right over here in order to learn more about my funded accounts program.